Hey, it's me, Joe, from the Backyard Vegan. Um, I don't know what I was going to say then. Anyway, I've, I've still got my broken foot and I'm bored. Okay, I have started physio, but you can only do that for, a, you know, half an hour a day. So I'm on a mission. I've started the new year with some new things. And the first thing is, have you heard? Oil pulling. I'd never heard of it. About a week ago I saw it and then I started watching some videos on YouTube because obviously everybody's doing it, apparently. More so in the US than in the UK, I think. But um, I'm going to have a go. So I'm using raw organic coconut oil. And it's pretty disgusting. But what you do is you put half a tablespoon into your mouth so it's solid and then the warmth of your mouth obviously it'll melt and you swish it around for a good 20 minutes mm -mm 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 -mm. so you've got to get really swish around your teeth and it put apparently because it's not scientifically proven because it's a natural product um apparently it pulls all the toxins out of your mouth and takes away like the bad metals and anything else that's nasty in there it'll take it out it not only freshens your breath it actually is supposed to clean your teeth and make them really white now hmm, my teeth aren't that bad um in the uk we tend to have really bad teeth i don't know why americans tend to have lovely white teeth i'm very jealous now whether it's something in the water we've got too much chlorine in the water or it's a genetic thing i don't know but it's just our teeth aren't great now as i said mine aren't that that bad those two are, I knocked out when I was about 12 after a riding accident, um, so they're capped. But they're always a different colour to the, the rest of my bottom of my teeth. Now I've got a few little gum issues up here and I'm hoping, according to what everybody's been saying, I'm hoping the coconut oil will really make a difference. Now after I do the coconut swishing in my mouth, apparently do not put it down the toilet or in the sink because it solidifies and it will block the pipes put it down uh, in your rubbish bin i'm going to finish off with my bamboo toothbrush and my charcoal toothpaste that i use i get that from holland and barrett um so i'm hoping it'll whiten the teeth and it will make a difference to my gums because apparently it strengthens the gums but i don't know pretty disgusting i'm going to do it for seven days and see what happens and see if i get any relief from my gums a bit sore at the back um, and see what happens and I'll let you guys know if you've been doing this or you've heard of it let me know in the comments below if it worked for you let me know in the comments below if it didn't work let me in the let me know in the comments below um, I'd like to have a, a chat about this one and see if it works but it does sound pretty disgusting I'm not gonna lie I'm not looking forward to it and I'm gonna do it once or twice a day and see what happens but people are saying it works so I'll give it a go oh and I, I do have another video coming out because I've got, ooh, if I can reach over, I've got a new supplement. I hadn't heard of it until the other day. Might not be able to see that. It's called Moringa. Moringa. Um, and apparently it's really good for aches, pains, arthritis, especially arthritis, inflammation, etc. But I'll do a video on that because there's quite a lot to that. And I'll see if that works as well. Obviously with the healing of my foot and arthritis because i do suffer a little bit in my hands and feet from years and years of riding horses and uh, grooming dogs etc but that's another story altogether but apparently it's very good so if you're suffering from any arthritis this herb is supposed to be fantastic but i will do another video on that and see if it if it works if it makes a difference so i'll speak to you soon take care bye